Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're talking about three step skin care because for the last two months, I've been testing out the clear collective trio from hero cosmetics. Now, big heads up. Today's video is sponsored by hero cosmetics. They are a Asian American female co-founded brand, all about taking care of your pimples and acne in a gentle way. I've been a fan of this brand for a couple of years and it all started with their Mighty Patch. These are pimple patches you might have seen at Target. They've got so many great products to take care of your pimples, like a hyperpigmentation wand, and they have a post pimple popping cream to help your skin repair. And now they've got this trio of a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer to really help treat your acne and pimples in a gentle way. And so I've been testing them out. I'm super excited to share my thoughts with you and tell you if I think they are worth it or not. So let's get this review started. Give the video a big thumbs up and let's do it. The Classic Cleanse Tone Moisturized Skincare Routine has been around forever. I mean, it's a classic for a reason, you know? But I think if you're somebody who enjoys more elaborate skincare and more multi-step skincare routines, I think three-step sets can definitely make you feel restricted. Um, and I do understand that thinking, I just don't think that that's the case, honestly. You know, I'm somebody who enjoys a good seven to eight step skincare routine, and I actually see a lot of flexibility in a three-step set like this one. You know, it can really encourage you to mix and match the products that you need when you need them. But I think it can also provide a really good core foundation to a more elaborate skincare routine. Because if you are trying to target congestion, acne, clogged pores on the skin, this set gives you those three foundational products that will help you target that. And then you can kind of elaborate and create your own unique skincare routine from that core. So definitely a lot of flexibility here for all different types of skin enthusiasts. So let's start off with the exfoliating jelly cleanser. And guys, this is a spoiler alert, my favorite product from the trio. My skin has really been enjoying this one. So let's deep dive into this ingredients list. And all three of these products really rely on the exfoliating powers of AHAs. So here we have glycolic acid, which is a powerful AHA exfoliator, but we also have it blended with the more gentler AHA mandalic acid. Now, just in case we forgot, <laughs> AHAs really exfoliate at the top level of your skin. They help to clear away the dead skin cells. They can help improve things like texture and the tone of your skin. They can kind of help to brighten it up. Now we also have PHA, and you may know PHA as kind of a newer generation AHA. It has a lot of the same characteristics. It exfoliates at the top of your skin, it can help to brighten, but um, what makes it more of like a newer generation is the fact that it's a lot more gentle on the skin and it's a lot more easily tolerated by sensitive skin. And we also have willow bark extract. Now, this is a very gentle ingredient. It's in a lot of products. It's not not really known as a true classic chemical exfoliator, but this ingredient does contain some natural salicylate content, and that actually means that this is related to salicylic acid, and it has a little bit of that cell turnover property. You know, willow bark extract, very gentle on the skin, but it can kind of help to sort of clarify the pores. It can really help to relieve inflammation and calm down the skin. So definitely a nice one to see in combination with some of these other uh, more traditional exfoliators to kind of round out this more gentler formulation. So the texture of the cleanser is a true gel cleanser texture, but there's a real difference here because they do have these little konjac jellies floating in the cleanser and um, you don't feel them like they're not rough on your skin at all but as you work the cleanser into your skin the jellies burst and when that happens you know the cleanser actually becomes silkier and creamier and more foamy it really does actually enhance the experience it's not just for looks it actually seems to be serving a purpose and the cleanser itself spreads really nicely it works in the skin really really well it rinses away easily and cleanly and it feels satisfying. Do you know what I mean? I feel clean, my skin feels refreshed, but it doesn't feel stripped and dry, and that's super important. I have sensitive skin and cleansers, 
you know, the wrong kind of cleansers can really strip a lot of essential moisture from my skin. And so loved how this made me feel, definitely. Another important component to not stripping the skin unnecessarily is the pH of cleansers. And um, you do wanna find something around that 5.5 pH level. I tested this one um, on my home pH strips and it came in at a five and that makes 100% sense to me because, you know, the AHAs, the PHAs, those tend to work uh, better in a slightly more acidic environment. So a pH of five is absolutely fine. And um, it's actually good because it's going to mean we're going to get some of that exfoliation benefit, but it's going to be a lot more gentle than a real targeted AHA liquid type of product. So as I mentioned at the beginning, I've really been enjoying this one a lot. It really boils down to two main reasons. It's gentle and it's effective. With sensitive skin, and honestly, I mean, I would say it's true with everybody. You have to figure out your skin's own personal sort of tolerance levels and that, that perfect balance with aggressive ingredients like chemical exfoliation. I think it's just more of a delicate balance. It's a little trickier when you do have sensitive skin because that tolerance level is definitely <laughs> a little bit lower, right? So anyways, I really do feel like I've, I've kind of figured out my own skin's personal tolerance levels, and this type of product fits perfectly perfectly into my skincare routines because you know those times when you're just like oh like what happened all of a sudden I'm getting more congestion all of a sudden I've got more clogged pores I'm starting to get more pimples cropping up it might be time for me to just kind of step up my exfoliation game just a little bit that's where this type of product comes in because it's super easy to add into your routine. It is something that is just so gentle. It doesn't push your skin over the edge and yet it still delivers results. I've noticed um, throughout this spring um, transitional time, my skin has become more congested. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? You know, it's just that it happens every spring, but I'm always a little bit surprised by it when my skin gets more congested. And so I think that's why I've been gravitating towards this cleanser so much over the last two months because it's been so easy to add into my routine. It's been so gentle. It hasn't affected my skin in like a negative way, but it's impacted it in a positive way by really helping to reduce the texture and the clogs. And I've actually been using it on my chest and neck a lot because I think it's all the sunscreen I've been putting on my neck and chest because in the winter I'm pretty much covered up so it doesn't usually get a lot of regular sunscreen on um, but in you know spring we're showing a little bit more skin I started to get really congested on my chest from all the sunscreen and so a few times a week I add this cleanser into like my neck and chest cleansing and it's made a huge difference like the redness and the bumps have gone down so 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 much so huge fan this is really probably my top recommendation from the trio is the cleanser and I think this is a must if you're somebody with sensitive skin but you like a little bit of exfoliation definitely try this one out so next let's move on to the balancing capsule toner now this is not your run-of-the-mill Western drugstore toner that is astringent and stripping on the skin no this toner is really made in the tradition of a hydrating k-beauty toner honestly and in in fact, the Hero Cosmetics products are made in Korea and I can really feel that K-Beauty influence in this formulation because this is a hydrating, replenishing toner. This is a toner that adds hydration to your skin. It doesn't take it away. So I was really pleasantly surprised by this because I did not know what to expect and I was like, yes, hydrating toner, I will take this. Um, you know, I love a good hydrating toner. And this has like that jelly, thicker type of body yachty to the texture that I absolutely love, but it's just pure hydration as you get it onto your skin. I was actually really impressed with the hydration levels of this toner. And this also has little capsules floating through it, little jelly capsules. And uh, you're meant to actually press these into the skin as you apply, they burst and they they deliver even more concentrated goodness into your skin. So let's dive into this ingredients list. We've got eight different types of hyaluronic acid, green tea leaf water, we also have galactomyces ferment and bifida ferment lysate, and we have zinc PCA, which is actually a great hydrator for the skin. It is a natural moisturizing factor, 
but it also has some natural sebum regulating properties to it. So it can kind of help control excessive oil on your skin, but it actually doesn't strip your skin, which is great and really adding to the overall hydrating gentle effect of this toner. Now the exfoliation, because there is an exfoliating benefit to this toner, is coming from glycolic and mandelic acid, and we also have the willow bark extract, but the toner actually does not utilize uh, the PHA that we found in the cleanser. So as I mentioned before, I was really impressed with the hydration level of this toner. It really plumps your skin up, makes it feel really fresh and rehydrated. I mean, with eight different types of hyaluronic acid, you should expect a plumping effect, and this definitely does deliver. I kind of see this like a toner slash essence because there's some other really beneficial ingredients happening in here that are great for the skin, like bifida ferment lysate is great for your skin's moisture barrier. Galactomyces ferment can really help to brighten up your complexion. So I was really impressed to see those other supportive ingredients in here. For me and my personal experience with this, I found this to be probably the least exfoliating of the three products, if that makes sense. Um, this definitely is like a booster type of product. So you should, if you're really looking for the exfoliation benefit, you should use this alongside of the cleanser and moisturizer or maybe even some stronger exfoliants. This definitely kind of helps support that exfoliation in the other products. On its own, it's very, very gentle. It's very, very light. But even as like a daily toner, when you just need a little bit of that cell turnover, this is gentle enough to be used daily and still get a little bit of exfoliation benefit. So I can see it being useful for a lot of different people. I really like the texture. I really like the hydration levels. There's just one thing. <laughs> There's just one little minor picky thing I wanna say about this, and it's about the capsules in this toner, which look gorgeous. You know what I mean? Like they're definitely a little bit more unique, but my kind of final feelings on the capsules in the toner is that maybe they're just a little bit gimmicky um, because I didn't feel like the capsules actually added to my experience with using the toner. I didn't feel like a burst of extra hydration or anything using them. And actually I found the capsules kind of hard to burst sometimes. Um, they're not rough on your skin and they do eventually dissolve, but I'm just saying like it just didn't offer that experience that maybe the capsule, the idea of the capsule sort of promised me. It did not break my my experience with this product at all. It was just like a really minor kind of thing that I wanted to bring up. If you're super excited because of the capsules, don't be. But if you're super into jelly, hydrating, gentle, but a slightly exfoliating type of daily toner, definitely get excited about this one then. So let's talk about the clarifying prebiotic moisturizer. So the prebiotics are coming from a sugar complex made up of erythritol, sorbitol, and trehulose. Now beyond the prebiotic claim, because I've mentioned this before on my channel, um, I find pre, post, and probiotics in skincare to be compelling. I find it interesting um, and promising but I am still just a little bit on the skeptical side of the fence, if that makes sense. It's just not like well studied or proven. That doesn't mean that it can't work. It just means the studies don't exist yet. And that's actually the case for a lot of skincare ingredients. But I just wanted to let you know that's kind of where I sort of like uh, land on this whole prebiotics, pro postbiotics, probiotics in skincare sort of issue. Um, I am not against it at all. I, um, I think it's definitely very compelling. But all that being said, these three ingredients, these three sugar molecules actually have other benefits for the skin that really help to bind water and hydrate your skin. So I'm not even mad at these ingredients. I never was, but I'll just tell you, they definitely do have other benefits for the skin. Now, speaking of hydrators, we also have eight types of hyaluronic acid in this moisturizer, ceramide NP, and we do have the mandelic and glycolic AHA exfoliators in this as well. So the texture of this really surprised me because it kind of looked thicker when I squeezed it out of the tube, but as I applied it to my skin, it applied in a much lighter layer than I was expecting. It felt a little bit more lotion-like, um, but it does have a really nice balancing moisture to it. It really just keeps your skin protected. It's got good occlusivity, but it doesn't really bring like richness or oiliness or greasiness to your skin. It's not overwhelming. It's just that right light 
balancing but still occlusive type of moisturizer and I really think that this is going to be perfect for combination skin because it, I think it kind of hits both of those areas just right it's not overwhelming for oily areas but it's got enough protective occlusivity for maybe your drier areas but I don't think that this is going to work for super dry skin I think this could be a little bit too much for really oily skin I think it just hits nicely in the middle so to be bluntly honest with you I probably reach for the moisturizer the least and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the product I think that it's just like I want a little bit more richness in my moisturizer because I do lean a little bit more on the dry side and I tend to treat my skin with a lot more moisture and so for me this is just a little bit too light if that makes sense um, so it's not my preference for my face but I'll be honest with you as well I've been using it a lot on my chest and neck and also the tops of my arms because as I mentioned earlier I was kind of breaking out on my chest and I do get a lot of like um, bumps and like white heads on the tops of my arms and um, yeah I can definitely use the cleanser there and I have um, I could definitely put the toner like on the tops of my arms but I'll be honest with you I'm really lazy when it comes to taking Taking care of like body congestion and acne I just want a really quick and easy product to get it done and so I actually just like this because I can just put it right on the tops of my arms like you know regular body lotion it's balancing and moisturizing enough for my body and the tops of my arms it's actually great for my chest because that can definitely get overwhelmed by thicker products so it works perfectly for there and as I mentioned my, my chest like super cleared up you know what I mean like it looks so good and it was so like red and bumpy before so it works you know what I'm saying it works really really well it's not my like perfect cup of tea texture wise for my face but it definitely has served its purpose and um, I think that it's gonna be great like I said I think particularly for true combination skin so here's my TLDR too long didn't watch like just a recap of this review you know these are definitely gentle and effective products that are in my opinion suitable for sensitive skin the three steps you know what don't feel like you have to be super strict with them these are mix and match types of products you can use one product one day all three the other I do find when you use the cleanser and the toner together or the toner and the moisturizer or all three together it builds upon the benefits so I love the flexibility of a set like this because you can just customize what you need on the day that you need it I love that these products do not contain a lot of harsh ingredients. No artificial fragrances here, no drying alcohols, no essential oils. Like I said, I do think that this is appropriate for sensitive skin, but I will point out one thing. If you are somebody who has a sensitive sensitivity to citrus extracts, we do have a pineapple and yuzu extracts being used throughout all three of the products. So I just wanted to kind of highlight that because it's a pretty particular sensitivity, but otherwise very, very gentle. And the products are really affordable in my opinion. The individual products, you can buy them a la carte and they're about $13. You can get all three for $35 on herocosmetics.com and I have a discount code for you guys. It's Kelly15 and that saves 15% off your order. I'm going to put it in the info box below. And these products are effective. You know, I think that these are gentle enough for daily or multiple times a week use to get that cell turnover going to keep your pores clear and to help with texture and acne. They're definitely effective. One last point I want to make, if you are going to use products like this with the AHAs in them, definitely, definitely, definitely make sure that you are wearing daily SPF sunscreen protection. So thank you guys for watching and a big thank you to Hero Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. And I do have links to all the products we talked about and that discount code in the info box below. So I'm curious, how do you guys feel about three-step skincare routine? Are you like all in minimalist? or do you like to kind of elaborate off of like the core basics let me know in the comment box below if you're not subscribed to my channel but you did enjoy this video please consider subscribing I release two new skincare focused videos every single week and don't forget to turn on notifications I hope you are healthy happy and safe wherever you are in the world and I cannot wait to see you in the next video I'll talk to you soon bye